Hi, my name's Matt Austin from Soto RC Products. In this video, we're going to go through a short video on position sensitive damping, what exactly it is and what it can uh, bring to you as a driver. To do that, we're going to do a, sort of a quick little test, standard, uh, standard setups, see where they, how they go in terms of uh, drops and, uh, and then we'll, we'll compare and, um, with um, what position sensitive damping does which are these little things here. You can see those in more detail on my website. Okay, standard, when you're doing ride height, say an Adam Drake would have four to six inches. That's about it. But for jumping, you're obviously landing a lot higher than that. So let's start a little bit higher. These are, these are Both these vehicles are, are fully kitted. Um, batteries a lot. Uh, this one's got a Four, they're all round five by 1.5 pistons, uh, 55 in the front, 55 weight in the front, 45 weight in the rear. We'll see how we go with dropping that. I put a little bit of grease on the chassis just so I know when it hits and it just hit then. So I'll try a few in different formats. We hit again. We haven't quite hit rule of height. I'll do some, I'll try and be fair. Now we hit again. Oh, so we're hitting around rule of height. You can, you know, those who doubt me, you can do this at home. Um, about 45, 45 weight, 50. Yeah, so the front's going, and we're about rule of height, and this rule is, say, um, 30 millimeters, which is 12 inches thereabouts. Um, that's that. I'm gonna make it quick. Okay, we'll take that grease off. Uh, the older version of the Associated, 8 by 1.2, 8 by 1.3, and in this one we've got a 50 weight and a 45 weight, um, lossy oils. Let's see where we go with this. So the last one was about ruler height. We'll start a bit higher and try and level her out. That looked all right. Higher, we'll go over ruler height. Yep, I think we hit then. Uh, that was in both. I'll try one like this. Yeah, we're hitting again. So we're, we're a bit higher than ruler. Yeah, we're definitely, yep, definitely hitting. So call that, I don't know. Uh, 35 centimetres, about there. Yep. Okay, give us a few minutes. I'm going to uh, fit these out with um, some of these sleeves and we'll, we'll go again. Part two. We have now fitted out both buggies with the position sensitive shocks. Uh, in this particular case, we had previously a 5x1.5 piston, all corners, with a 55 weight and a 45 weight. This time round, I've put it in a configuration purple, which is very similar to the 5x1.5 feel, um, not exactly the same. And then also the reds on either end. Uh, of these position sensitive, so red is is similar to the fire uh, the eight by one point two angled piston. It gives about fifty percent more damping. And again, what position sensitive means is that you can have in this particular case a nice uh, supple ride in the in the ride zone where you can absorb the bumps. You can get more roll. You can get more roll through the corners. Gets you more grip. So if you look at a traditional uh, handling table, and I've got one on the website, typically where you've got a, a softer side type of setup, you'll get more grip. If you increase spring rates or you increase damping rates, you will get less grip, but it'll be more for a higher speed type of track. Here we can, we can now get more uh, of both. We can have 
Uh, we can allow for that supple type of feel in the middle. That'll allow for your bumps, allow for that low speed, more grip on the sort of the dusty areas. But if you do have a high speed section and you start to get a little bit of more roll, as you roll a bit more, you'll get into the, the, the other zones, either the top out zone or the bottom out zones, and they will have a different characteristic characteristic so you can then firm up and you'll get a completely different ride quality these are absolutely must-haves on all of the large Baja type races or your, your king of the hammers rally cars position sensitive is all all what it is about in, in off-road vehicles it's now available here again and um, and it's tunable so just to give you an idea the the 5 by 1.5 all corners last um uh, not round, but um, under the traditional pistons. We had about 30 millimeters about that. You guys can see, but we'll we'll go. We'll start from there, and you can see straight up we've 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 got nice supple, but you can see there it's um, not hitting the hitting the ground. It's probably not even getting close. I can feel that loading up. We'll go a bit higher. No. There you go. We got no, we hit that time. No. So we're we're a lot higher. And what I find with this as well is um We're a lot more consistent. All right, we hit on the front there, not on the back. Not on the back again. I hit again. All right, go lower. So you can see there, I think we're about there with the 5 by 1.5s, and here we're, we are a lot higher. And again, what that gives us is the ability to... Uh, firm up for the jumps but we still have that that nice ability to to turn when required and get that that um that roll and that extra grip uh without that roll if you had just had firm suspension in the middle your your car those forces those lateral forces would tend to just drag the car across the ground you need the body roll to redirect that force into those outside tires as it as it's turning and that's what gives you your, your grip um, but um, if i just go from that 30 you can see there it's doing that quite comfortably and um, i don't know where i left i think we're about there with the 8 by 1.2 and we can i can certainly do that quite comfortably as well there you go Hi, I've uh, I've just interrupted the the previous take where I was going through the position sensitive on the on the S works. I, I did have this set up for a a more extreme version. Uh, it wasn't extreme enough for my for my mind, so I've had another. Uh, I took it back out and um, loaded up a, a, a thicker type of oil. So I had a hundred weight, um, but. Um, it was good, but I thought, oh, well, let's see. It was actually a little bit too free in the middle. Um, this uh, the setup I've got um, had a no insert, so this is uh, red on the top, middle, no insert, and red at the bottom. Uh, it was a bit free, so I thought, well, let's run a thicker oil. So in this case, I've got um, two thousand CST uh, diff oil, and um, and it, and that's probably. To another point that uh, your damping is determined by both the orifice configuration you've got as well as the oil type um, you can't treat them in isolation one plus the other will equal your damping uh, so in this case it's just ghosts and it'll just show you the position sensitive in a, a sort of a more extreme type of um, scenario the, in, in the race tune it's there but you can't quite you can't quite see it on video. You really have to sort of feel this thing to, you know, um, see it sort of loading up and all the rest. Um, see it out on the track as it overtakes you. But um, here, um, it's not bad. It's 
So we're, we're free in the middle and then it, it, it'll load up and it's certainly loading up here to the point if I, if I just let it go here, you can just about see it bouncing. Um, the tyres are, are bouncing rather than the shocks moving. So if you were a basher and you were setting it up in that sort of format, um, you've got every chance of um, removing your, your, your shock mounts off your gearbox. But look, that's, um, that's up to you guys. Uh, I do think, and I will in the future, I reckon, um, say the Traxxas type guys out there, if you show interest, I reckon uh, this is this particular technology is made for you guys. It is made for the bigger vehicles. So the one-fifth scale, this is absolutely made for. The one-tenths, not, not, not convinced quite yet, um, but certainly one-eighth and above. Um, this is made for it and you'll see here as I lands nice we may have just kissed the yeah just a little bit we're a lot higher as you can see, it's um, I can probably do that. I'll do a sort of a more I still haven't hit. If you can do this with your own buggy, oh, there you go, nice and free. And then it just loads up. And it also, the way it does load up, it, it, that configuration, even in the race configuration, it tends to stop that um, where you see the buggy will, will, will bounce off the ground when you, you land, um, you know, not quite uh, well on, your, on your, your, your landing, your jump faces and what have you. It's, it's sort of, it's less likely to sort of pop up um, because it, you get that additional control if you've got it in that configuration of the um, the heavier type of settings in the in the, the bottom out zone, top out zones. But um, you can see there it settles quite nicely, and and these ones settle really nicely because because it is freer up in the middle. They do tend to settle um, back in their normal positions. Um, better than stock, even though they're thicker, they'll they return well. Uh, it has the additional rebound, so the shim, so it does bypass that circuit, so it doesn't necessarily go through the the red insert. It'll 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 follow that sort of that path of least resistance. But um, I haven't touched this since last time I used it. And I could go all day with this. Okay. Thank you for watching. And I will see you on the next video. Cheers, guys.